In this video, we are going to cover the sidebar import stack and what it's used for. Um, but really helpful, it would be great if uh, you already have watched the video on the sidebar split setup because that's what I have going on right here. We have a sidebar and it is already split uh, with some content, a little bit that I've added. Um, now just below that we can notice these cat pictures. This is using my uh, photo stack and you can see that in the stacks page here. So we have a stacks page, we have a sidebar, we have cats. Now we also have the, if I type in Aspen, we also have three stacks that came with Aspen that I installed. One of which is the sidebar import stack. This is used for if we wanted these three cats to go in with the sidebar, sidebar import stack. So I'm gonna add this to the page and there's uh, we can close that back up. And so now when I add my cats into the sidebar import stack, watch the magic. Boom, cats next to the sidebar content. Just like that, super, super easy. Now what's kind of nice about this is um, this sidebar import also comes with its own set of uh, layout controls. So sometimes, uh, let's say you needed more padding on this side of the, uh, next to the content, um, I can add some right padding like so and kind of get some more spacing or if I didn't want it exactly going to the top, I can add some padding like so. And then also I have separate controls for the mobile padding as well. I can establish the breakpoint at which it's gonna switch between desktop and switch between mobile padding. And um, I can say uh, the maximum width that this is allowed to be at the same time. This is good for like uh, single images or um, something like that where you don't want the size to get out of control as it's in this container area. So. Really useful stack, you can get creative with it, and that's what the sidebar import stack is for.